Good morning, YouTube. <clears throat> I woke up this morning, couldn't find my dog. <clears throat> Came rushing out here out of the shelter. Find her out here eating wild apples. So she helped herself to breakfast already. Didn't even offer me any. But, um, listen to the radio. I heard there was an earthquake in San Francisco today. Damn. I don't know how big, but you got to be prepared because there's going to be some crazy things coming. You don't got to, if y'all don't got a 72 hour kit or bigger, you need to put one together. But anyway, I'm going to get set up, I'm going to get some tea going. And um, I get back to you. I did find an AM station out here. Of course, you always get AM. So I'll be right back. Hello, everybody. Well, we did a night. Like I said I woke up. My dog was gone morning he's out she was out here eating apples I don't know what it is about apples but she loves them she picks blackberries too but anyway a little advice it's hot um no zombie movies when camping out in the woods let me tell you I was like a five-year-old kid that just watched a horror movie I was tweaking bad but I finally did get to sleep and slept pretty good. I'd like to thank my brother for this backpack chair. This is great. I mean, shoot. Not a better place to have coffee sitting in a chair. And October Plus has this little hood thing in case it rains. Pretty sweet. But, um, I'm going to start getting camp broke up. And. Probably have to test out my toilet here in a minute. So anyway, we'll get back to you and let you know what's up. Tell you what though, after watching that zombie movie laying here in the pitch black, coyotes howling and Animals scurrying. Had that crossbow locked and loaded. Good thing nothing poked its head in my tent. Or actually my shelter. Shelter is pretty sweet. I'm really liking it. I'm going to try to get the wife to stay a night with me in it. Thank God I had mosquito repellent though. I tell you what, I said it before. You don't have mosquito repellent, it's the difference between a nice night and a crazy night. Ain't that right, Edie? You go ahead and put some on her. Huh, my baby girl. Oh, she's still itching though. Sorry about the camera being jerked around a lot. I'm not a good photographer or movie guy. Anyway, we'll be back to you. There. Having a little trouble waking up, so I gotta make some more tea. I don't know if you can see this teapot. That well last night, so I'll show you how it works. already got my tea in there. So it don't take long. 
scored this at a garage sale. And I gotta have tea or coffee in the morning to get going. This is a black tea. I don't usually use sugar for that. But great little unit, huh? Oh, tell you what, my bones hurt. Yeah, see, after I watched that 20 days later, there was monsters all over this camp. Zombies everywhere. Instead of something would have poked his head in the tent or in the shelter, I would have capped him. I don't care if it was a rat, human, whatever. So I didn't sleep much till later. <sighs> what am I going to have for a snack today? Let's have another blueberry millennium bar. These really are good, I'm telling you. As far as a mini meal, they don't have everything in the other ones do, my Mayday ones, but they still got a lot of vitamins. And let me see, they got uh, 18 grams of fat, um, zero cholesterol, 15 grams of sodium, 33 grams of sugar. 52 grams of carbs, 1 gram of fiber, 4% vitamin A, 15% C, 4% calcium, 6% iron, 10% thion, ro robofen, whatever that is, 20%, and niacin, 15%. So, it is healthy. These are good until... 04 or 17. So, yeah. Not bad. My dog, she loves them too. She's already had her breakfast, didn't share with me, so I don't know if I'm even going to share with her. Well, we pack your garbage out, guys. Now, as far as a, a bug out spot, um, I'd do a few things. I'm going to have to do a few things different to the shelter. One is, I think I'm going to make it so I can put my stove in it. If you, I don't know if you see my video on my little portable handheld wood stove, but I'm going to figure out a way that I can integrate that in it. And I need to take moss and put it over the whole thing like I said I was going to do because it did get cold last night. I actually unzipped my sleeping bag so it folded out into a blanket and um, laid on top of that flannel ground cover I got there. As far as comfort, I had two um, camping pads. That blue one that you see plus a black one. It's a little bit thicker and two flannel ground cover pads so as far as laying on the ground in comfort it was great didn't feel the cold coming through plus I had the tarp on the floor so I had more insulation there but once I unzipped that sleeping bag made it into a blanket laid on top of that flannel it was good but my dog kept nudging me out so finally I let her get underneath the covers, and she was fine. Mosquitoes attacked for a while, but I broke out the bug spray and sprayed us both really good. Never had no problem with them. <sighs> Look at her. She just loves these things. She looks like she's going to bite me right now if she wants one so bad. <laughs> She's a great dog though. Like I said, I woke up and she got out. She just walked around these apple trees and sat down right there and ate apples this morning. 
It's really cute to watch her in blackberry patches because she picks the blackberries too. What? You're not going to let me have any? Hmm? I don't know if you can hear that, but we're already getting, starting to get warm, starting to get hot. That's just with one tea candle. It's an aluminum pot. This works great. This goes to my alcohol stove. It's the thing it's sitting on. I don't use the alcohol stove much. I do keep it for emergencies though. In our motor home. My little bug out wagon. But um. Because it makes black suit everywhere. But these little tea kettles. Great for this. I could use this for rehydrating food. Making tea, coffee. <coughs> a cup of soups. Hey, easy. She wants to eat all my breakfast. Go find an apple. Go get an apple. What's funny about my my dog? I don't know if all German shepherds are like this, but she's practically a vegetarian. She loves berries, fruit. Um, her favorite's asparagus. Got asparagus going she wants it she does eat meat though but she likes her vegetables carrots anything like that ding dog even eats onions so all I know is in the this time of year with the apples and blackberries this girl if she ever got loose or could find her way home she'd be okay for a few months so here in Oregon, these apple trees grow everywhere. Cherry trees also, but <coughs> cherry season <coughs> over. Excuse me. I'll give her another bite. She leaves me alone. Go lay down. Go lay down. Best part about her is when them coyotes are all howling. I don't know if you could hear them in the earlier taping, but they don't even bother. We had um, you could hear deer walking through last night. Only in my mind, after watching that movie, they were zombies. You hear other little animals. One time something ran across the tarp. I don't know what it was. Ran across the roof. But, um, she's really good about that stuff. She don't make a lot of noise. The only time she makes noise is when there's a threat. Poor girl's getting old, though, but she's still my buddy. Okay, I don't know what I'm going to do now. Oh, today I got a, I'm going to try to do the bow drill again. As soon as I pack up and get back. It's something I'm not going to give up on until I master it. Most people, when they were in scouts, I was in scouts, they used the bow drill so they know how. But when I was in scouts, we just used flint and steel. So... I'm pretty good at that, but you don't always got, in an emergency, a bow drill is like, I think, the most ultimate fire starter you could use because the material's all around you. As long as you got shoelaces on or paracord, the big spider, you know, you could always make one. She's going to be bound to turn to eat all my breakfast. I thought she loved me, but... The only things are her stomach. Staring me down. It's funny because these are so vacuum sealed. And I've even ch tested them in like, in our chicken coop, we got a lot of rats. I put one in there overnight, rats didn't touch it. But they're so sealed, they don't smell nothing in them. So, um, you don't smell the food in them. So she don't mess with them. But once they're open... Oh my gosh, this girl is all about getting them. I was thinking about getting her a doggy pack so she can pack her own grub in, but she has a little trouble getting over the logs now. It's that thing when your friends start getting old. She's like, 
12 or 13 now. I don't know what I'd do without her. <laughs> Look, I could hypnotize her. See that? <laughs> okay. Oh, we got some little bubbles in there. I'm going to do what? I don't know. Probably have to go test out my honey bucket here in a minute. It's that time of day. So, let me turn this off. And we'll see what's next.